था तो कोई रात से मिल गई रोशनी सच्चे जैसे बातों से मन गई जिंदगी लो हम हुए आजाद के ना है कोई कमी पूरे हुए है खुद में ही हम है सुकून यही ख्वाब को इरादों से मिल गई रोशनी सच्चे जैसे बातों से बन गई जिंदगी Welcome all to Off the Cuff with Namrata. I hope you all are having a wonderful Sunday morning. And uh, today I have a I have a guest who is multifaceted. Her, uh, her name is Madhuri Murli. She is an artist, singer, songwriter, choreographer, music uh, video producer, and director of original songs and mashups. She is also the founder and creative director of Flute Theory, which helps empower. underprivileged causes through dance and performing arts and um, it's my pleasure to have you uh, madhuri on off the cuff for when amrita thank you so much for the warm welcome and really happy to be here thank you namrita for having me like you said you know passion with perseverance is very important sometimes just passion itself you know because you need to be practical and Absolutely. you know uh and uh, what i've seen is you know a wonderful uh, result of the the words and how you've uh, projected it in a video but talking about flute flute theory it's a beautiful name first of all thank you um you know that uh, the name is an ode to your father i read so tell me more about that absolutely yeah. um so i mean I, i've spoken about this in the past but uh, mm -hmm. my dad um he was an artist at heart mm -hmm. i think he was a bank employee an artist captured inside a bank employee so i think uh so if it was you know if the circumstances life and everything would have gone his way i mm. think he would have been an amazing artist Achha. um he would have been um a really good singer he would have been in you know very happy joyful content singer because mm. he always aspired to sing because mm. of who he is not because again to you know get get dazzled by the hmm. audience hmm. um and uh, i think he did his best to the opportunities that were you know available to him hmm. you know all events and functions and other things where he he would put himself out there hmm. and then he also saw me kind of aspire to becoming the same version in my school and college and growing up years seeing myself perform um he would try to kind of live it through me he would give me his mm. tips before every singing um performance he'll sit me down mm. correct my notes correct how i'm trying to sing okay. um and i'm not a trained singer so mm. it, it's actually unfortunate because i would have loved to have been you know mm. be able to get trained mm. um but his lessons really helped me a lot like his corrections okay. of notes and other things helped me a okay. lot and more than anything else i think he gave me the confidence to just be who i am be mm. authentic mm. and it's not necessary about necessarily about you know hitting that perfect note mm. or the perfect oh. um, you know mm. rhyme or rhythm mm. as long as i'm doing justice to the you know the song the presence and who mm. i am mm. um and i think that was my biggest learning with my dad uh and uh, somewhere i think when i lost him um that that connection was lost mm -hmm. um and i didn't i mean i used to dance and sing throughout my life but mm -hmm. for almost 8 years from 2009 to 2015 i actually stopped singing oh all together mm -hmm. um because it really triggered a lot of memories mm -hmm. of him and it was really hard for oh. me um but what ended up happening later in 2015 is when i wrote my first song I realized this is a way for me to stay connected mm. with him. Yes. So that mm. that became a very positive influence. Mm. Um it almost gave me a purpose to mm. uh reignite what I had lost and um and a beautiful thing came out of it. Uh, the theory came out of that yeah. and all I mean I'm on to my 
you know, um, 10 songs now, mm. and 11 songs in fact, and uh, mm. um, I don't think it would have happened without his uh, connection and drive that has been instilled in me. Mm-hmm. Um, and which is why it's an ode to him. Flute theory is named after him, which is Murli Murli, yeah, flute. Yeah, so yeah, yeah it's, uh, it's an ode to him. That's wonderful and I'm glad that you started to uh, sing, uh, you Thank know, once you. again. And I'm sure uh, he'll be very proud of you wherever he is and showering his blessings on you. Thank uh, you so much. an upcoming concert coming up uh, uh, you know by you through flute theory uh, tell us more about uh, uh, that and how can people join how can people donate uh, yeah all about absolutely that. Mm-hmm. so um, I am actually supporting a nonprofit called friends of Asima and mm-hmm. Asima charitable trust is a foundation in India mm-hmm. um, they have pledged to uh, abolish child poverty through education Oh. So that's their mission. Hmm. Um, they've got several schools where underprivileged kids have been, um, you know, provided education with on a path for being setting them up for success. Okay. And um, hmm. uh, it's a beautiful cause. They're they're very committed to hmm. using the funds that we are providing directly impacting at the ground level for. Okay. Kids. And which state is that? This they are based out of Mumbai. Mumbai. Yeah, okay. and hmm. Maharashtra hmm. and. Uh, the thing that I actually, what resonated the most with me is um, you can actually see the impact directly going for any dollar that you contribute. And for me, that has been one of the other considerations when I select nonprofits. Mm. I always like to uh. work with people who I can physically talk and connect with, yeah. understand where uh, and how the funds would be used, mm. and um, have a um, um, human-to-human connection in, yes. in being able Absolutely. to understand that. Yeah. Um, for the show, uh, I partnered with uh, Asima and um, well, friends of Asima. That's the U.S. Uh, nonprofit mm-hmm. foundation here, um, and um, I'm working with uh, Christine, who is the representative of uh, Asima, who would also be part of the show, okay. and uh, would love for everybody to come check out the show and then also learn a lot about Asima. Mm-hmm. Um, a little bit about the show we are doing. Uh, it's it's on the 23rd of September. Uh, mm-hmm. I'm showcasing um, most of my original songs, some of my mashups. Mm. We're going to be showcasing some of uh, three or four of our uh, most um, viewed or most highly performative da- dance um, pieces that have done well on YouTube. Um, so we're going to showcase some of that. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm incredibly thankful to the music team um, and then also my dancers who are going to be part of this. It's an extensive work that we're all putting yes. together and working hard towards it. Yeah, and what's the venue? It's going to be in Zohar Dance um, Company in Palo Alto, California, and uh, um, we will be able to share the link on um, with you know it's on my Instagram profile or my web page. So um, if you go to my Instagram profile, my handle is at flutetheory.com, mm-hmm. or rather flute theory, and then my website is flutetheory.com. Um, and um, there is a link where you can actually sign up. So the only thing I ask for every attendee is to make a donation mm. to uh, reserve a spot at my show. If you've made a donation, even if you've not, but if I would really highly encourage that you do. Um, and I would love for us to get together and have a good time with dance and music. Absolutely, that could be a treat for all, I'll say. And uh, what uh, Madhuri is doing is that through a flute theory is that she is providing her time as a dancer and teaching her students uh, for free and asking them to donate. Absolutely. Uh, that's what I understood. Absolutely. Uh, donate whatever money, uh, you know, to these charities. So, you know, she's a full-time, uh, uh, you know, uh, working uh, woman, working in the tech industry, and she is taking out that time, investing so much of her uh, you know, life uh, into this, uh, into giving and um, and helping in whatever way she can at such a young age and using all her talents, like I said, you know, she writes, she sings, she dances. I think her first love is dancing and <laughs> singing she does for her, her dad and, uh, you know, giving is uh, through her mom, like she said. So, you know, that's why she is here and I, uh, you know, uh, I'm featuring her here because there's so many young people uh, people who are working here who have, have talents that they can utilize in uh, in such ways and like she said you know giving always uh, is more for yourself and 
I also believe it's better to give than to take. <laughs>